This year's winner in the professional category is the Union County Sheriff's Search and Rescue K-9 Unit. The unit was called into the World Trade Center to help in the weeks following September 11th. Their tour of duty included monitoring bridges and tunnels into the city, as well as search, rescue, and recovery work at Ground Zero. Dr. Ira Nidwetsky of the Island Veterinary Hospital nominated the K-9 unit. I am Ira Nidwetsky. We're at the Island Veterinary Hospital with the Union County Sheriff's K-9 unit. Uh, I nominated this group uh, for the work that they had done at the World Trade Center. Dr. Nidwetsky joined the team at Ground Zero. He arrived with medical equipment and food for the canines. We spent about three days total there, I think, uh, myself, Karen, Margie, and Cheryl. And um, they were there the whole time. We were on call back here for them. But after the first day that they went, they were, they know what to do. They're, if there was a problem, we were there for them. But I mean, the dogs will do anything for these guys. So they'll do anything for their dogs. The K-9 unit trains in the Watchung Reservation. The training is critical to keep the dogs ready for many different scenarios. They are able to sniff out narcotics, as shown here, and scratch to indicate the source of the scent. They also can sniff out bombs and indicate the location to the handler. These skills were essential when they were called upon to cover the tunnels and bridges into the city. In addition to search and rescue, these dogs are also trained in criminal apprehension. On the commands of the handler, the dogs apprehend, stop the attack, and then return to the handler. The agility training that these dogs and handlers do regularly helped them to negotiate the twisted metal and concrete slabs they faced at Ground Zero. The dogs and handlers from the Union County Sheriff's Office K-9 unit were in high demand all over the rubble pile. Rescue workers desperate to find victims, friends, and even family were constantly requesting dogs to check an area. These officers and their dogs are professionals and will tell you they were just doing their jobs. But in this case, their jobs included seeing things that no one should ever have to see. Listening to their recollections, you realize that memories from Ground Zero will take a long time to go away. You're literally just being pulled in 10 different directions. And the, the emotions were just, un, you can't even explain it. I mean, you'd tell them, you know, your dog's name, and they would just keep saying, you're such a good dog, and pat them and cry with them. And uh, I think it was a lot, a lot of therapy. Um, I don't think our emotions were down at the time. It didn't hit us probably till after we were done with it all. We all sat around and talked and we said, the devastation here goes deeper than what it looked like. I knew before that that going to work, I might not come home that night, I might get hurt, whatever. But that, that day really put it all into perspective. From that point on, I realized this is for real. It can happen. Some of their memories are just too painful to even talk about. 